Ancient Egypt, a civilization that flourished along the banks of the Nile River for over three millennia, continues to captivate the imaginations of people around the world. Renowned for its grand pyramids, enigmatic hieroglyphics, and majestic pharaohs, it remains one of the most intriguing and perplexing civilizations in human history. Even today, as we delve into the annals of ancient Egypt, numerous mysteries and conspiracies surround this extraordinary civilization. From strange hieroglyphic inscriptions to the ram cult of a pharaoh, here are the 20 strangest things recently discovered in Egypt. Number 20. Humble Egyptian Burials In 2019, archaeologists stumbled upon numerous burial sites near Saqqara, a renowned ancient necropolis in Egypt. While discovering graves and tombs in Egypt is nothing out of the ordinary, this particular find had an interesting feature. The site, known as Saqqara, is often referred to as Egypt's City of the Dead and has a rich history of ancient burials. But what made this discovery so unique was the state of the mummies themselves. Unlike the extravagant and elaborate burials we often associate with ancient Egypt, these newly discovered mummies, dating back 2,000 to 2,600 years, were far from impressive. Instead, they were found in a rather sorry state, suggesting that the individuals came from working or middle-class families. The mummification process they underwent was extremely simple, with simple wrapping and embalming. It's quite remarkable to think about the stark differences between the burial practices of the elite and those of everyday people. While pharaohs and the wealthy received lavish and meticulously crafted burials, these individuals were laid to rest in a much simpler manner. It gives us a glimpse into the social structure of ancient Egypt and the disparities that existed within their society. Interestingly, despite the lack of proper inscriptions or personal items that could shed light on the identities or professions of these individuals, the skeletal analysis provided some clues. It turns out that most of them were engaged in physically demanding work, but the burial had another interesting feature. One of the coffins discovered had hieroglyphic inscriptions that didn't seem to make any sense. The depictions of jackals representing the god of death Anubis were described as clumsy by experts. It's almost comical to imagine the artisan who painted it struggling to decipher the hieroglyphics, trying their best to recreate something they weren't really familiar with. Why were these individuals buried with such simplicity? Was it due to limited means or social status? As simple as this discovery is, it shows us once again how much the ancient Egyptians valued the afterlife. Many of us believe we'd be able to pass properly as long as our bodies are laid to rest inside a coffin or cremated to ashes but the ancient Egyptians had stronger ties to the other side. Even those in the lower echelons of ancient Egyptian society utilized whatever means available to enhance their prospects of attaining a more favorable passage to the afterlife. Number 19. Rare Animal Mummies and a Treasure Trove of Ancient Egyptian Artifacts It seems the blessings of Saqqara are endless. In 2019, another astonishing find was unearthed in this necropolis. Archaeologists unearthed a vast collection of ancient artifacts and mummified animals, including the rare remains of two lion cubs. The collection was endless. Seventy-five wooden and bronze statues of cats, wooden boxes filled with mummified cats, and an assortment of statues depicting animals and birds. The site also revealed mummified creatures like crocodiles, cobras, and scarab beetles. Among the findings were a large stone scarab and two smaller depictions of the sacred beetle made of wood and sandstone. The massive cache also yielded 73 bronze statues of the god Osiris, six wooden statues of the god Ptah Soker, 11 statues of the lioness goddess Sekhmet, and a beautifully carved statue of the goddess Neith. Within the collection, archaeologists discovered amulets, mummy masks, and papyrus scrolls adorned with drawings of the goddess Taueret. This tomb is an incredibly wonderful treasure trove, but perhaps the most significant findings were five mummified cats, and not just any cats, big cats. Through detailed CT scans, two of the animals were identified as lion cubs based on the size and shape of their bones. However, the identity of the remaining three cats has yet to be definitively determined. Whether they're cheetahs, leopards, lionesses, or panthers, their discovery would be a one-of-a-kind find. Interestingly, this is not the first time lion-related discoveries have been made in the area. In 2004, French archaeologists uncovered the remains of an adult lion skeleton at Saqqara. 
shedding light on the revered status of these animals in ancient times. Number 18. A Crocodile Mummy In 1899, a group of archaeologists stumbled upon something incredible. Instead of finding mummified human remains, they stumbled upon dozens of crocodile mummies. However, the team also discovered papyri, the ancient ancestor of paper with actual text written on them by Egyptians thousands of years ago. At the time, the entire world was captivated by ancient Egypt, particularly the mummified remains of humans found in the region. Hieroglyphics was the next big thing. Naturally, archaeologists focused on unlocking the message on the tiny fragments of papyrus instead of the mummified reptiles. Now, decades later, there were 19 mummified crocodiles once again. This time around, however, archaeologists are more eager to learn about the remains of these ancient reptiles. Like cats and other animals, crocodiles were a big deal for the ancient Egyptians. Living along the Nile River, these creatures lived closely with the people. That's why you'll find ancient Egyptian tomb walls adorned with scenes depicting herders performing magical spells to ward off crocodiles before crossing the Nile with their cattle on wooden boats or platforms. You see, the ancient Egyptians viewed crocodiles as incredibly powerful beings. They can live on land and in water, making them unpredictable and fearsome. These reptiles are lightning fast and can launch an attack at any moment. Now why would the ancient Egyptians bother mummifying crocodiles? The answer is actually quite simple. Death is something significant for ancient Egyptians, and by mummifying these reptiles, the gods could be appeased. They believed that by presenting these mummified reptiles, they could gain some favor with the giant deadly crocodiles and the gods that watch over them. Number 17. The Tattoos of Women in Ancient Egypt Recently, our advancement in science revealed something incredible. Infrared images discovered something astonishing about 3,000-year-old seven mummies, hidden tattoos. It turns out that ancient Egyptians knew how to ink their bodies, and just like everything they did, every stroke of ink etched on their skin most likely had an incredibly deep meaning. Now, who were these mysterious tattooed individuals? Who are they that had the privilege of adorning their skin with symbols? Experts theorize that these tattooed individuals were most likely artisans and craft workers who played a crucial role in building and beautifying the breathtaking tombs in the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens. But let's talk about the tattoos themselves. The tattooed symbols remain a mystery, and experts are still debating their exact significance. Here's the exciting part. All the tattoos discovered so far have been found on women, symbolizing the gender roles in ancient Egypt. This discovery shed light on the artworks of the ancient Egyptians and how their creativity wasn't limited to tombs and the massive structures they built. Number 16. 4,500-year-old yeast How would you like to taste bread made with ingredients harvested back in ancient Egypt? Meet Seamus Blackley, the mastermind behind the Xbox gaming console. But in his free time, this brilliant inventor also indulges in his hobbies, and he does it spectacularly. Did you know that he's also an avid amateur baker and Egyptologist? And after creating the original Xbox model, he created something more astounding. You see, humans have been making bread for thousands of years, but the use of yeast to create beer, wine, and leavened bread didn't come into play until around 6,000 years ago. Yeast has evolved and transformed over time, with different strains from various parts of the world mingling and picking up mutations along the way. Seamus wanted to explore the ancient world of yeast. He extracted dormant yeast from old Egyptian cooking vessels, carefully avoiding any potential contamination. This non-invasive method allowed him to preserve the integrity of the yeast samples. Using ancient grains like einkorn, an early form of wheat, and hand-milled barley, Seamus recreated an old kingdom loaf. He cultivated the yeast for a week using unfiltered olive oil, just like making a sourdough starter. However, he humbly admitted that this loaf was more of a practice run, and some modern yeast may have found its way into the mix. It's incredible to think that through technology, we'll soon get a chance to sample what ancient civilizations ate. Number 15. Demetria, the Worthy Woman Demetria is a woman in Egypt that captivated archaeologists recently because of her tomb. Nearly 2,000 years ago, Demetria was laid to rest in a stunning catacomb in Saqqara, Egypt. 
This underground tomb was a sight to behold, and its decorations hold many mysteries to unravel. One remarkable carving discovered in the catacomb depicts Demetria herself, donning an extravagant dress and holding a bunch of grapes. Alongside her is her cute little pet, gazing up at her with its paws resting on Demetria's dress. One inscription, written in Greek, revealed that Demetria was the daughter of Menelaus and the granddaughter of Ammonia. The words honor her as a worthy individual and bid her farewell in her eternal slumber. But that's not all. Another carving showcases the Egyptian gods Seth, Thoth, and Anubis, with wings gracefully spreading over them. The Greek inscription beneath this carving tells us that it belongs to Menelaus, the son of Philemon, who served and held a deep reverence for these mighty deities. Demetria might not have been a pharaoh, but her tomb was just as interesting as a discovery. Number 14. Bird Mummies Humans weren't the only ones in ancient Egypt. As I've said earlier, animals were also mummified by this civilization. Among them, the sacred ibis bird is one of the most intriguing. These feathered creatures were mummified in large numbers as part of rituals aimed at winning the god's favor. Just imagine, over 4 million sacred ibis mummies were found in the catacombs of Tuna el Gebel, while a staggering 1.75 million were discovered in the ancient burial ground of Saqqara. Now why were these ibises mummified? Why this bird in particular? Well, it all ties back to the mighty god Thoth. Thoth was not just any god. He was the god of wisdom, magic, and judgment. If you were seeking fair judgment or dealing with a boss who was a bit of a headache, you could call upon Thoth for help. And what better way to get his attention than by promising to offer him a mummified ibis during his annual feast? But here's the big mystery. With millions of mummified ibises turning up, where did they all come from? One theory suggests that they were bred on a grand scale in hatcheries. This theory has an incredibly dark implication. Many of the mummified animals in Egypt might have been bred and raised solely to be offered to the gods. And you know what? Ancient texts give us a little hint about this too. Hor of Sabenitos, a priest and scribe from the 2nd century BC, wrote about feeding tens of thousands of sacred ibis with bread and clover, only to be sacrificed later. This might sound like injustice and cruelty to us today, but thousands of years ago, this action was seen as a sacred ritual that revered the gods that blessed their land. Number 13. 4,600-year-old pyramid and a teenage girl. A hidden skeleton, untouched for millennia, was discovered in 2019. The enigmatic remains were discovered inside the Maidam Pyramid Complex, just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the River Nile. Now, this pyramid complex is estimated to be a staggering 4,600 years old, right around the time when the first pyramids were being built in ancient Egypt. Nestled at the base of this ancient wonder, archaeologists stumbled upon the skeleton of a teenage girl. Based on their analysis of the bones, they believed she was a young female, possibly around 13 years old. The burial site is surrounded by a small wall of bricks, hinting at its past life as a cemetery. Alongside the teenage girl's remains, three small pots and a sealed papyrus were discovered. To this day, the contents of this sealed papyrus remain unknown. What's stranger is that two bull skulls were also found in the grave. It's easy to dismiss the animal skulls as offerings, but why bulls in particular? Experts theorize that these animals represent strength and fertility, and there's even a deity named Apis, who was often depicted as a bull. So what's the connection between the teenage girl and these bull skulls? It's still a puzzle waiting to be solved. Number 12. Trained Monkeys Attacking Thieves You won't believe what the authorities used to catch criminals in ancient Egypt. We're talking about baboons on leashes. That's right, forget police dogs, they had police baboons. Or at least, that's what ancient inscriptions on Egyptian walls dictate. You see, hieroglyphics in ancient artwork have given us glimpses into this mind-boggling practice. Can you imagine strolling through an Egyptian marketplace and witnessing a thief being chased by a trained baboon? There's even a jaw-dropping classical artwork depicting this scene, where the poor criminal is begging for mercy as the baboon sinks its teeth into his leg. We can see a naked man desperately trying to fend off a large baboon that has grabbed hold of his legs. Using his left arm, he attempts to keep the baboon at bay, and guess what? There's another man in the picture too. He's sporting a snazzy short kilt and holding a whip in one hand. It's interesting to see the dynamic of these creatures with the ancient Egyptians. 
Number 11. Egyptian Punishment Did you know ancient Egyptians had a way of disciplining particularly rude and inattentive students? Thousands of years ago, students were asked to diligently write lines as punishment for their naughty behavior. It seems like detention has been around for a lot longer than we thought. These pottery fragments had a single symbol repeated on both the front and back, indicating that students were practicing their penmanship or learning the ropes of ancient Egyptian calligraphy. Archaeologists discovered how ancient Egyptians punished students back in the day, and trust me, it's just as bad as how schools do it today. Number 10. More than 700 Sekhmet statues appearing out of nowhere. Sekhmet was revered as the goddess of war, healing, and protection. She embodied both fierce power and benevolent healing abilities. Depicted with the head of a lioness, symbolizing strength and ferocity, Sekhmet was believed to possess the ability to unleash devastating plagues and epidemics upon her enemies. Her name translates to the Powerful One or the Mighty. Countless statues of Sekhmet have been uncovered throughout ancient Egypt, testifying to her immense significance and widespread worship. These statues ranged in size from small amulets to colossal stone figures, reflecting people's reverence and devotion for her. What's strange, however, is the fact that it almost seemed like the statues seemingly appeared out of nowhere. Number 9. The Mystery of KV-55 Located in the famous Valley of the Kings is KV-55. This tomb, designated as KV-55, has sparked countless debates and raised more questions than answers. It was discovered in 1907 by renowned archaeologist Edward R. Ayrton. Inside, he stumbles upon a treasure trove of artifacts and human remains that would leave even Indiana Jones scratching his head. But here's where things take an unexpected twist. The identity of the occupant remains a hot topic of debate among experts. Some theories propose that the tomb belongs to none other than the famous boy king Tutankhamun himself. Others suggest that it may have housed the elusive queen Nefertiti. As the investigation unfolds, more perplexing details come to light. The tomb's architecture and burial practices defy the norms of the time, leaving experts scratching their heads. Intriguingly, the walls of KV-55 bear evidence of extensive restoration work, adding another layer of confusion to the puzzle. Who was buried here? And why the elaborate cover-up? Number 8. Thutmose as Moses? Did you know there's a theory that suggests Thutmose, an ancient Egyptian pharaoh, could be the historical figure behind Moses? This intriguing idea draws parallels between Thutmose's reign and the biblical narrative, including religious transitions, influential family members, and political challenges. Supporters of this theory point to the various intriguing parallels between Thutmose's life and the biblical account. For instance, Thutmose's reign coincided with a period of religious transition in Egypt. Thutmose's mother, Hopshetsut, played a prominent role in his life, much like the pharaoh's daughter, who discovered baby Moses in the biblical tale. Furthermore, there are similarities in the political climate of ancient Egypt during Thutmose's rule and the biblical narrative. Egypt faced several upheavals and challenges, including plagues, social unrest, and the eventual exodus of a group of people. What do you think about this theory? Number 7. Face of Espelta Deep within the mystical temple of Dengiel, nestled along the picturesque Nile River, archaeologists have stumbled upon the remains of a mind-blowing 2,600-year-old statue. This magnificent statue was discovered in the very heart of an ancient temple dedicated to the esteemed Egyptian god Amun. It features Espelta, a prominent figure who ruled over the Kush kingdom from 593 BC to 568 BC and one of the many figures in ancient Egyptian history that remain shrouded in mystery. Espelta's ancestors had once reigned over the mighty land of Egypt, which lay to the north of Kush. While Espelta didn't have control over Egypt during his reign, the inscription on the statue tells a different story. It proudly proclaims that he was the King of Upper and Lower Egypt, a prestigious title indeed. Furthermore, the exquisite craftsmanship and stylistic features of the statue indicate a fusion of Egyptian and Nubian artistic traditions, symbolizing the intermingling of these two influential civilizations. This remarkable discovery not only showcases Espelta's aspirations for recognition and status, but also highlights the interconnectedness and mutual influences that shaped the ancient world. Number 6. Luxor's Private Tombs In the southern city of Luxor, 
The Egyptian government has just unveiled not one, but two incredible tombs that have been hidden for a jaw-dropping 3,500 years. These tombs are nestled on the west bank of the magnificent Nile within a cemetery reserved for the noble and esteemed officials of ancient Egypt. Luxor, known for its remarkable temples and tombs that span countless dynasties, never fails to surprise us with its rich heritage. This discovery couldn't have come at a better time. Egypt's tourism sector has faced its fair share of challenges, and these incredible finds serve as a beacon of hope, drawing visitors from far and wide to witness the marvels of this remarkable civilization. Number 5. 2,300-Year-Old Underground Cemetery Archaeologists discovered a 2,300-year-old underground cemetery in 2018. This remarkable burial site was unearthed at Tuna el Gebel, an ancient Egyptian site located west of the legendary Nile River. The cemetery was filled with mummified priests who were devoted to none other than the mighty god Thoth. They were the ones leading the charge in religious ceremonies and rituals entirely dedicated to their chosen deity. And in this case, they were all about Thoth, the god of wisdom, knowledge, and writing. These priests were the real deal, deeply connected to their spiritual practices. Number 4. Egyptian Worshippers During an exciting excavation at Tel El Farah Inn, also known as the Hill of the Pharaohs, archaeologists stumbled upon a variety of tools that the ancient Egyptians used in their worship of the god Hathor. Among the findings was a remarkable part of a limestone pillar in the shape of Hathor herself. Can you imagine having a sacred object like that in your possession? The team also uncovered a well specifically used for sacred water, an offering holder, and even the remains of gold scales used for gilding other objects. Incense burners were also uncovered. Made of tin-glazed faience pottery, one was decorated with a majestic falcon head of the god Horus. It's incredible to think about the ancient Egyptians lighting up their temples with these beautiful burners, filling the air with fragrant scents. But the excitement doesn't stop there. The discovery included small clay statues of the goddess Taweret, who was associated with childbirth. These Egyptians seemingly covered every aspect of their life in their religious practices. They truly believed in seeking the divine's protection and guidance in every vital aspect of their existence. Number 3. King Tut's Camping Bed Back in 1922, the legendary British archaeologist Howard Carter stumbled upon King Tut's treasure-filled tomb, and among the incredible finds was a unique bed made of lightweight hardwood. But this wasn't just any ordinary bed. Nope, it was the ancient predecessor to our modern camping beds. This bed was smaller and sat lower to the ground compared to the other beds found in King Tut's burial chamber. But don't let its size fool you. It was all about comfort and style. Recently, researchers conducted the first study of this remarkable bed, and they were blown away by what they discovered. This bed's mind-blowing folding mechanism allowed it to transform into a neat Z-shape. They even found a tiny model of a two-fold bed from Gebel in Egypt, dating back to the 18th dynasty which suggests that two-fold beds were already in the works before King Tut's bed came along. Can you imagine lugging around a bulky bed while camping in ancient times? Nah, King Tut had it figured out. Number 2. Egyptian Cult and Boiling Heads New discoveries at an ancient Egyptian port on the Red Sea coast have shed light on the mystery of the moon goddess Khonsu. Headless falcons were found among the remains, providing valuable insight into their religious practices. Records revealed that boiling falcon heads for sacred offerings were explicitly prohibited, as stated in the inscription. It is improper to boil a head in here. That's good advice, but, well, I think we can all agree that boiling heads is never proper, regardless of the circumstances. The site was later on named the Falcon Shrine by the archaeologist who unearthed it. Located within the northern complex of Berniki, the shrine consists of two small rectangular rooms designed in the style of an Egyptian shrine, complete with decorative elements. One room features a podium that would have held a statue of the god, as well as a broken stand for offering items. Within the shrine, archaeologists found 735 animal remains scattered throughout the room, including fish, bird, and mammal bones, as well as fragments of eggshells. Remarkably, the remains of 15 individual birds were also present, with 13 of them decapitated and 14 placed at the foot of the pedestal. An intact peregrine falcon was carefully positioned beneath an inverted vessel in the corner of the room, 
It remains unclear whether the birds were wild or specifically bred for sacrificial purposes, a common practice in ancient Egypt. The beheading of the falcons and the lack of deliberate preservation, in contrast to the typical mummification of animals in ancient Egypt, hint at a ritualistic purpose for these sacrifices. And now it's time for today's topic. Many conspiracy theories surround ancient Egypt, and recently, one of the most intriguing rumors surfaced. There are speculations that in Egypt, scientists discovered a 10,000-year-old portal to the Pharaoh's era. It has long been speculated that ancient Egyptians had a connection with extraterrestrial creatures at the time when the mighty civilization constructed the pyramids. With the recent discovery of hidden chambers in the pyramids that we remain clueless about to this day, many conspiracy theorists propose different purposes for these enigmatic voids. A hidden library with records of ancient Egypt that is unknown to man, a treasure room, or a portal back to a time when ancient Egypt was at its zenith when the pyramids imposed all over the desert and the Nile blessed the ancient land. However, these rumors remain unfounded. But could it really be possible? Number 1. The Ram Cult of Ramses II Now since we're already on the topic of cults, let's take a look at the cult of Ramses II. Recently, experts have made an astonishing discovery in Egypt, an ancient cult bell that has rung for the first time in two millennia. During excavations at the renowned city of Abydos, Egyptologists stumbled upon the remains of 1,200 ram skulls, which were sacrificed as an offering to the mighty pharaoh Ramses the Great. Tied around the neck of one of these rams was a tiny bell, still capable of producing a clear sound. This remarkable find provides evidence that Egyptians continued to worship Ramses II as a god, even after an entire millennia after his death. Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, was an influential pharaoh who left an indelible mark on Egypt's history. During his reign, he expanded the country's borders, constructed colossal monuments like Abu Simbel, and built the magnificent Ramesseum Mortuary Temple. His impact was so profound that nine subsequent pharaohs adopted his name in reverence. In ancient Egypt, it was not uncommon for former pharaohs to be venerated as gods, with dedicated temples and cults established in their honor. However, such cults typically faded away relatively quickly. The significance of this finding is striking. Other pharaohs' cults usually lasted for a couple of centuries, but here we have evidence of Ramses II's cult enduring for a thousand years. Many have already been uncovered in the ancient land of Egypt, but to this day there are still a lot of enduring mysteries that might take us decades to uncover. What's your favorite conspiracy theory about ancient Egypt? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.